We are talking about areas and we are calculating areas, we are finding areas and in this case area of a triangle. And the book gives me a formula and that is all fantastic. However, I rather understand what I'm doing because then I don't have to remember anything. It all makes sense to me, really. The area of a triangle. Now before I solve this one question, I just want to share you the following. If I put a piece of paper here. What kind of a figure do I have here? Well, I have four angles, 90 degrees, four right angles, six centimeters, opposite sides are equal, six centimeters, eight and eight. This indeed is a rectangle, okay? Now, what would be the area of this rectangle? Well, I'm pretty sure that you all know that that is going to be six, and so the area is going to be six times eight. I hope you agree. And that equals, what does that equal to? Six times eight, indeed, 48 centimeters squared. Excellent, okay? So the area of a rectangle, length times width, base times height, yeah, six times eight, 48 centimeters squared. Okay, but we weren't talking about rectangles, we were talking about triangles. Now, I have a pair of scissors over here, and look at me now, I am going to cut it up the diagonal exactly from one corner to the other, yeah, and this is goes like that, it's not a very straight line, but that should be the diagonal. And I now have two, sorry, I should turn that, two identical um, triangles, you see that, two triangles, together they turn it into a rectangle. So what now is the area of one of these triangles? What do you think? Well, the area of the whole rectangle is six times eight, 48 centimeters squared. So what is the area of half of that? So that's gonna be 24 centimeters squared, half of 48. Okay, now back to the question then. The area of a triangle, the area of a triangle equals base times the height. Well, that is a rectangle, so I gotta divide it by two to have the area for a triangle. Yeah, or you can see in your book that is the same as half times the base times the height. Now, important, yeah. To, to say alongside with this formula, always mentally to yourself, yeah, half times base times height, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees, okay? Because I'm interested, if I go back to my rectangle, to do six times eight, they make that angle of 90 degrees, and then I divide it by two. So I'm not interested in that diagonal, the length of that, yeah? So base times height, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. So when they give me the length of this one, of the hypotenuse of this triangle, I couldn't care less if I'm talking about area. Okay, so for this particular case, a half, or I rather do six times eight, that is the rectangle, yeah, and I divide that by two, so that is 48 divided by two, so that is 24 units squared, because I didn't, specify any particular unit, yeah? So it's going to be 24, I'll just write it behind it, units squared, because it's area. I hope that was useful. I'll see you for some example questions.